Hello everyone, my name is Cliff and welcome back to my channel. This is Cliff's Dark Gems. Today I'm going to be doing my July TBR and I'm also going to be mentioning some plans that I have for my channel in future and I'm going to be giving a shout out to the new booktuber. Stay tuned. Okay everyone, we're going to go straight into it. Um, first of all, I'm going to talk about a few novellas and a novel from my Kindle and then we'll go on to some of the hardcover books I've got over here. First book I'm going to be reading is The Ballad of Black Tom by Victor Lebel. Now this is a retelling from a Lovecraft story, The Horror at Red Rock, and it's very interesting because it's told from the perspective of a black man. Um, and also a uh, man of colour wrote, wrote the book as well. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to reading this. It's also been spoken about quite a lot on Booktube. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a fascinating read for me. Next up, I'm going to be reading another novella uh, that I know very little about uh, called Sour Candy by Keelan Patrick Burke. Now, I do know it's something about a, a father and a son although I'm not so sure if this is his son and his health is deteriorating and his child is a spoiled brat and it looks like something very creepy is going to happen. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to reading this one as well. And it's another one that's been mentioned so often on Booktube that yeah, I have to give these books a go. Okay, my last novella uh, for this month is going to be Gone to See the River Man by Christopher Triani. Now, I've heard that this book is very dark and kind of extreme. It has had mixed reviews. I've heard some people didn't enjoy it at all, uh, but I'm going to find that out for myself. I think it's about this woman that is obsessed with a serial killer, uh, continuously visits him in prison, and basically she decides to do him a favour. He asks her to go and see the river man uh, with something that belongs to him. And apparently, yeah, it's very bloody, very violent, very extreme. Uh, let me give it a go. It's a short novella, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Next up we have The Drive-In by Joe R. Lansdale. This has really been right up in the top of my TBR for quite a while now. And I love Lansdale, and I've read some of his other crime novels. Um, so this is going to be awesome. This is apparently one of his more uh, horror-based novels. I think it's uh, about these people, these kids that go to this largest drive-in in Texas or in the world. And they, the drive-in itself just gets cut off from the outside world. And so even though there's horror on the screen, when resources and food start to run out, yeah, I think everything goes to bloody hell. And I know that Lansdale's got a very wicked sense of humour from all the other stuff I've read by him. So I'm really looking forward to this one. This should be fun. Next up, we have The Collector by John Fowles. Now this was on a TBR early on in the year, but I've never got around to reading it. And it's about a lonely, unloved man who collects butterflies and takes photographs. And he's basically, he wins big, I think on the pool. So he wins a lot of money, buys a, I don't know if it's a house or a state somewhere. And he happens to see this beautiful student and he wants her. So he abducts her and keeps her in the basement or something just with the hopes that one day she's going to fall in love with him. Um, it just sounds very creepy, it sounds kind of disturbing, and so I'm definitely going to get around to it sometime this month. That is a collector. Next up we have Trigger Warnings by Neil Gaiman. Now, I've read another collection of his short stories, and I've read a lot of Neil Gaiman, and I really love this author. So I'm looking forward to dipping into this. I don't think it's going to be a question of reading every single story. Uh, I don't think I approach short story collections like that. But what I do read, I'll definitely get back to you and review the best. Um, let me just read a little bit of the back here. We are all wearing masks. That is what makes us interesting. These are stories about those masks. And the people, we are underneath them. And we each have our little triggers. Yeah, so this sounds very, very interesting. 
I'm looking forward to dipping into this. That's trigger warnings. Okay, the next book I'm going to read, and this is number seven, is a book by Dion Mayer called Icarus. Now, Dion Mayer is a world-renowned uh, crime thriller writer, probably our most popular crime thriller writer, and yeah, he's actually absolutely fantastic. Uh, some of the books he's written have been made into movies, so if you've never heard of him and you're into crime and thrillers, give this guy a chance, that's Dion Mayer. Now, this particular book, I think a body is found, um, wrapped up in a sheet on a, in sand dunes on a stretch of beach in the north of Cape Town, and having lived there myself, I think I know exactly where they're talking about. And basically, you have this detective called Benji Griesling. And he's an alcoholic. And he goes on the case. And he appears in not just one book. I think he appears in a whole series of books. And yeah, it's awesome. Action-packed. I love Dion Mayer. So I'm definitely going to try and do one South African author with a thriller or crime every month from now on. Just to give you guys an idea of South African writing. Next up I'm going to continue my, my journey into Stephen King's world, reading one a month, and I'm going to read the second book in his hard case crime novels. The first one I read was Joyland, which was a five star read for me, and this one is Later. Now I think what this book is about is uh, it's a young boy who's got a special ability, some sort of special but about power, but he is drawn into a, a serial killer case, and yeah, I don't really know much more about it than that, but it sounds great, and it's got good reviews on Goodreads, so I'm looking forward to that. Okay everyone, next up I'm going to dip my toes into a readathon event, or a reading event, called Booktubers at War. I think it's hosted by Michael K. Vaughan. I'm not so sure, just correct me if I'm wrong, but I'll put his link in the channel below, in the space below. And he really is an awesome channel, you've got to check him out, brilliant channel. And the first one I'm going to read is Graham Masterson, The Devils of D-Day. Now this is an omnibus, so it's got four novels in one. But yeah, The Devils of D-Day sounds very, very interesting. Uh, let me just read the back for you. At the bridge of Levee in July 1944, 13 black tanks smashed through the German lines in an unstoppable, all-destroying all fury ride. 35 years later, Dan McCook finds a rusting tank by the roadside, opens it and releases an unimaginable horror. That sounds really, really fun. Um, I've read a couple of Grand Masterton books. Charnel House Mirrors on here as well. I'm definitely going to talk about Murray in some detail later, probably not this month, but later in the year. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to be dipping into this month is something a little bit different. Uh, also for um, Booktubers at War, I'm going to be delving in the history of the Second World War. Now this is only the first of six volumes that I own, and it's basically magazines that came out in the 70s, and basically it shows the whole history of World War II. Everything, all the major players, uh, where things took place, where the battles took place, um, the planning, the execution, pretty much everything about World War II is in these six volumes. Uh, so I'm looking forward to just dipping in there a little bit. Tell me what you think about that. Okay everyone, I've got some new ideas for my channel uh, in terms of content. One thing that I would really like to start doing is a series of videos where I compare and contrast my favorite books by my favorite authors. And that will be under categories. Like, so let's say, for example, post-apocalyptic, I could do an in-depth comparison between The Stand and Swan Song. And when I mean in-depth, I mean looking at similarities, differences, as well as analyzing plot. Uh, character developments, some themes common in both, and that kind of thing. Another idea, coming of age novels. The one I've just recently read, uh, Dan Simmons' Summer of Night with Boy's Life by Robert McCammon. And I can do a similar, similar thing there. Um, so I'm quite excited about this. Please let me know in the comments below. I also want to start getting active on my channel with the community side of it. I haven't actually even touched there. 
So just look out for stuff there as well, um, where I'm going to be doing a little bit of surveys about what people think. And also maybe linking channels of people that I've shouted out to, so that you can see them on my community page. And that brings me to the final thing I'm going to be talking about today, and that's a shout out. And now this guy's only been on BookTube for two weeks, and he's got a very, very interesting channel. And he's a very interesting guy. Um, go check him out. His channel's called Please Read Your Book. I think he's an expat living in Thailand. Um, and his BookTube newbie tag was really, really interesting. I just loved hearing what he had to say about books and about his life. Um, so yeah, go check out his channel. I'll link it below. That is Please Read Your Book. Okay, everyone. So there we have it. That is my short and sweet um, reading for July, a little bit of new ideas for my channel, and a shout out video. I hope you enjoyed that. If you do enjoy my content, please be sure to like and subscribe. That really helps me out. Um, and just take care of yourselves, keep those pages turning, and cheers.